Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, the question that uh, came from a few viewers about uh, Mac and and I'm going to add in the mix Linux and all of that. And what I think about, um, you know, the computers, the operating systems and so on, um, because uh, a lot of you, when you saw that, was like, well, do you like Macs better than or do you like Windows better or do you? The question isn't that much about what I like better. Um, it personally, the use of Windows for me was a lot more driven by what I can do that I can't do on other platforms. And also by checking out some of the special devices and apps that I use, and also the comments of others, you see that if you're outside of Windows, there's so many limited options for some, you know, out of the ordinary hardware. Um, here I'm talking, we've got, uh, I'm an amateur radio operator, and I've got some devices that are called software uh, defined receivers, which are little boxes that are radios, but they are controlled by computers. So this is one example, and there's a lot of these examples. There's a lot of things that you can purchase that do special functions that Windows is the only operating system that actually has them working and working with a good choice of options. And it all comes down to that. Why is Windows dominant? Because the options and the things that most need are often Windows only or limited to rather crappy versions or, or software that is not and is far from the quality of some of the software we get on Windows. So that is why Windows dominates my life. It dominates because it's the only operating system that is flexible enough to run everything I want to run. It's as simple as that. Because um, in terms of do I like one better than the other, look, I had a MacBook Pro for, what, five years when I was a tech guy. I had a MacBook Pro because I also fixed my Mac computers and so on. So it was kind of easier for me to have a MacBook Pro. I had a Windows laptop. Of course, and I've dabbled a lot with Linux over the last 10, 15 years. Um, and what actually happens is that it all comes down to, once again, what I can do. Honestly, Linux distros, there's some really beautiful and very nice stuff out there. And I, you know, I have net, nothing negative to say about that except the fact that it's too limited when it comes to having, you know, specialized hardware, and even in the standard hardware. You know, if you buy a printer, if you buy something, you got to be careful because lots of things don't or are not compatible with Linux. And it's the same for Mac computers. Now, that has improved over the years. Uh, most printers today, most, you know, you had to be very careful in choosing a printer or, or, or a webcam or whatever in the past. It's less of a problem today on that side of things. And the problem lies, for the most part, on very specialized devices. Some of them do work on the Mac computer. Problem is, on the Mac computer, you'll have one piece of software that runs it and no other choice. So you gotta you got to work with what you have. Where in Windows, the same device will have 15 different software that will run it. And you can choose from the one that you really enjoy using it all comes down to that mostly um because i um the, the macbook i mean the uh, the mac os environment is nice and i got no you know it's it's not i don't poo poo any operating system i like all of them um and i prefer windows for the flexibility of what you can run on it it's as simple as that um for the rest if everything were equal, meaning I had the same choices everywhere, I don't know. I could, you know, I might be running Linux. I might be running a Mac computer. I, uh, I might not be, um, you know, running Windows specifically. Um, and that's where Windows dominates. It's the flexibility it has. Because for the rest, 
I like all our Bring systems. Like I said, there's some really beautiful Linux distros, and uh, we're, we're going to come to that because I know a lot of you are waiting for me to make some videos of showing a little bit of some of the distros and so on. Uh, and also, um, I mean, when I was using my MacBook Pro, it was a nice operating system. It was a nice computer to use. Um, it was not a problem for me. Um, once, once again, the problems, you know, they arise when you start using unusual and different uh, hardware and software that you need for what you do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.